previously on Bushcraft and Camping Adventures. Today we're here out at Dunphy's Campground, Foily Edge. Water has brought the animals out. Big, stubborn, red belly black snake. Great. I swear to God, if there's a dinosaur. All right, I've laid down a layer of wood with the intent to stop the moisture from the ground when it heats up rising in. I've got a darn large amount of old man's beard. I've got the paper bark as well, very dry. So that'll go up very easily. I don't have my knife today, so I'm gonna use this as the striker. Let's see. Let's have a race. Let's see which one goes up quicker. First hit. What did I tell you about paper bark? Alright, time to blow up the sleep pad. Put the lighter, cooler sleeping bag that I bought today over the top, blow up the pillow. Away oh, we go. We've got a uh, mushroom, a bubble and squeak potato patty, and just the stem of the mushroom cooking in butter. We're going to mushroom and butter this up. Alright, we lost some. We had a disaster. It uh, fell down the back, but I recovered it. it fell down the back of the fire, I should say. Alright, let's see. Look at that. Soft and juicy. That's for you, Ed. That's for all those... Uh, Meat eaters that, you know, think these things are disgusting. Now, who would ever think that? Look how juicy that is. How can you not want that? Explodes with flavor. Ah, Adventurous Apple. Quite ironically titled, Bushcraft and Camping Adventurous Apple. Kombucha. If you've never had kombucha before, it's basically a uh, organic fermented mushroom drink. It sounds absolutely horrible, but basically it's soft drink without any sugar and it's actually good for you. Lots of probiotics and good stuff. Get your hands on some, it's really good. Kombucha. A quiet taste, but then it hits you. It's sharp, it's cold. It does the job if you don't drink soft drink. So just to shore it up from the night, make sure nothing gets in there really. We cover it with paper bark and three sticks. All right, it's about eight o'clock. Um, I've sat here and chilled out for a while. I've built up the wood pile. I've just basically sit back and relax. It's been really nice. So I'm probably just gonna put some music on now. Maybe uh, whittle something, I don't know. So I'd say today this place delivered the goods. Lots of wildlife, just a couple I didn't want, but that's all right. I can hear some wailing off in the distance. God knows what that is. Sounds like a baby, but I don't think it is. You never know, the camera might not be picking it up. Alright, so everything's good here. We're kicking back. Life is good. We're podcasting it up. We're musicking it up. Got an outside in fire burning in really nice as well. That's stacked beautifully. Look at the symmetry. Symmetry? The symmetry. 
So you remember that seed pod on that stem of that flower from earlier? If you burn it, it's a good mosquito repellent, fly repellent. It just gets rid of them. Only a mild bit of smoke. All right, well, uh, I'm horizontal. I'm very relaxed. Really nice, chilled out day. Just a bit worried about that snake coming up on me at night. They can be no problem if they bite you. They can be a big problem if they bite you, but either way, I've got a tent, so I might as well play it smart. So I think reflecting back on the day, and especially the noise I hear right now, I would say that, yeah, the uh, the flood definitely, oh not the flood, sorry, the rain of it definitely had an impact. I mean, listen to the amount of bugs and insects out at the moment. It's the same back at our house too. Just poured them all out. It's enough water for everybody. So I'm probably going to crash out now. Got lots to do tomorrow. So uh, it's been a good day. Surprisingly enjoyable. Very wild lifey. Still looking for that elusive wombat though. The elusive wombat. Alright, I'm gonna crash out. Good night. Wow. So when I said it's not gonna be very cold last night, I was wrong. It's cold, it was cold. I needed a jumper and I didn't have it, and I needed my better sleeping bag for sure. So we're awake now. It's like 5.30, but yeah, cold. Surprisingly so. So one thing I like to do in the morning is to get my heavy metal on. So while we're sitting here and I'm waiting for the fire to kick up, kick on, kick round, waiting to cook, to give you our review for this for this trip. Now this one's a bit different. You might remember a long time ago, I think during our first visit to Blackheath Glen, when I first announced that uh, you know that I was putting up videos and had a YouTube channel and all that stuff. I mentioned a band called Align the Tide. One of my mates is in that band. And, um, and so of course I'm a big supporter of them. So if you've never heard of Align the Tide, they're a heavy metal band from Malta. I'm half Maltese. I've never got this on my head. Uh, and they are really, really good. And they're only one album in. And they're getting ready to release their second album. And they've released the single off that second album. Now if you like heavy metal, do me a favor, because I'm mates with these guys. Go check them out. Align the tide. Spread the love, man. Like, it's actually happening to someone that I know, and they're going to be one of the bigger bands in the world on the metal scene if they just keep it up very soon. And it's actually really exciting to watch his journey and to watch their journey, because um, it's nice not to have to lie to a mate when you say that, that, that song actually shreds. That's actually awesome. So they've released a new single. It's called Red Label. And they've um, given me permission to include a bit of the song. So check it out. Yeah, it's a shameless plug, but it's a mate's band. So, you know, this is, this is exactly what you do for, for mates. So first thing in the morning, sun's not even up yet, but the horns are up. Align the tide, red label. Check it out.
All right, now that we've got an appetite, it's time to talk about breakfast. So breakfast is going to be good. It's whatever I want it to be. There's a lot of leftovers from yesterday. So I've got I've got uh, bubble and squeak, which is like a potato patty, um, two sausages, two eggs, two halloumis, and maybe some other odds and ends in there. A bit of cheese, cheddar cheese. Um, I've got a kiwi fruit. Man, I'm going to pig out this morning. So the fire's ready for round one. Round one, eat! It's around one a little, a little bit burnt, but you know, at the end of the day, it's all right. The old potato patty, and we got the sausage on there. Lots to come. This round four, three, I don't know, Halloween. Good stuff. Halloween. Okay, so we're about to head over to check on our little water hole. gone down quite a lot but I don't know if you can tell but the water in there is crystal clear so if you were to straw you can get to it <laughs> it's gonna be hard otherwise but you can see how much the table dropped You can see this kangaroo's got a joey in his pouch. Wow, we caught a kangaroo with a joey out. That was awesome. I've never seen that before. Um, even when I saw those 50, 60 kangaroos numerous times on the property, I've never seen one with a joey in it before. That's really sweet. That's nice. You know, my wife's pregnant. That kangaroo's carrying, you know, it's a nice symmetry. Just packing up as you can see now I'm getting ready to take the walk back now I might be stopping off on a little bit of a special location on the way back I'm not sure it depends on time um, somewhere I drove past on the way down that looked pretty nice so I might be stopping in for a little bit of a surprise at the end here all right so I'm all packed up I'm leaving the campfire because this is a public campground and someone will get use out of that. Um, so there's no need to leave no trace here. It's not that kind of campsite. Okay, backpacked up, ready to go. Let's get on our way. Take it easy, guys.